What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. So, as you saw on my last video, I was home in Connecticut. And while I was there, I happened to grab my mom's Kodak point and shoot camera. This camera, I know nothing about it. Uh, all I know that is my mom documented basically mine and my brother's entire childhood on this camera. I it has a flip up flash that she would always, you know, flip up to take our photo. It's a, let's see, so it's a Kodak Autofocus S series, uh, S1100 XL. Auto flash, multi autofocus, DX programmed camera, it's good for the film. Uh, micro computer control, fancy 90s technology right here, folks. It comes in this case, this is the case that my mom carried the camera in our entire childhood, which is kind of crazy to see this thing. It's got the strap, I don't think she ever used the strap, but, so my plan for this camera is to shoot it. So I'm going to pick up a roll of Kodak Gold for this camera, just, you know, want to keep the nostalgia going. I'm gonna shoot basically snapshots, just capture, document, you know, stuff, like basically like my mom did, just document everyday stuff with this thing. The trick is I have to find a battery for it because it's one of these guys, the Energizer, the double little battery. So I'm going to find a battery for it first. Hopefully it, it won't be too tricky to find. And then, yeah, I'm just going to have fun with this. I'm super excited because, like I said, this was like my entire childhood, this camera. Flip up flash. It's my mom's move. Bam. So, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. I'm excited to shoot it and share the photos um, and do more research on what this thing actually is or was. So. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I finally found a battery for my mom's old Kodak point and shoot. Hopefully it works. The one I got at Freestyle was the wrong size. So we're gonna check this out right now. I'm super excited to shoot this camera because like I said, all of my childhood memories were caught on this and I'm just feeling super nostalgic lately, so. I'm, I'm excited to see what I can get out of this. I'm kind of excited to see what people are going to think when I pop up this flash before I take their photo. All right, moment of truth. It fits. We got a zero. We've got some numbers lit, lit up. All right. Let's try it. So, got my Kodak Gold 200. There really isn't a reason why it wouldn't work. It's just been sitting around, not getting use for probably 20 years now, or close to it. Okay, film's loaded up. Here she goes. Frame one, ready to go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is gonna be fun. Can't wait. Alright guys, so you just saw the scans from the Kodak S1100XL camera that obviously I said a bunch of times with my mom's. And obviously those photos were all taken before we were shut down because of coronavirus. Um, while well, looking at those photos really made me nostalgic for life before all this when we got to spend time with each other. And as I'm sure many of you are feeling the same way, I hope we get back to real life and shooting and hanging out with our friends as soon as possible. That being said, I did do a little research on this camera. So as it turns out, it was Kodak's last go at a premium compact camera. And it has a 35 millimeter 2.8 lens on there, which is super fast, super sharp. Yeah, I mean, I had, a, I had a blast shooting. It was mostly nostalgia for me because like I said, I just have so many envisions of my mom, like, like popping the flash up and just like getting us throughout our whole entire childhood. And I have to say, overall, I really enjoyed shooting with this camera. I love the results. I also have got to say, I've been sleeping on Kodak Gold 200. I don't think I've ever shot Kodak Gold. And damn, that's good stuff. 
I'm definitely gonna be shooting more of that in the future. I will say it's definitely a great camera and if you guys ever happen upon it at a thrift store or at a Goodwill, don't pass this up. Uh, I was definitely pleasantly surprised with the image quality and how much I enjoyed shooting it. And I wonder how much mom actually paid for this because she got it like back in the day, like in the 90s. I wonder if she remembers what she paid for it. Other than that, this was super fun. I'm glad I snatched it when I was home. I'm super excited to put it on the shelf with all my other cameras just for sentimental reasons. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and you're all healthy and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Oh, and before I forget, I actually did include some of the photos my mom took with this camera of me and my brother and stuff back in the day. So enjoy that. Um, you may or may not be a little embarrassed. <laughs> Alright guys, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon.